Meanwhile, Lane County continuing to deal with extreme temperatures. St. Vincent de Paul's cooling center stepped up to help dozens of people without shelter. KVAL's Tiffany Lewis has more. Since July 4th, Lane County has seen record-breaking temperatures, pushing hundreds of unsheltered people to seek a cool place to rest. To meet that need, St. Vincent de Paul offered a low barrier cooling center at Lane Event Center and continued operating their Eugene service station on Highway 99. Dozens of unhoused individuals sought refuge from the heat with an average of 40 people visiting both centers each day. It's just the relief in their, their faces. They know they can come in no agenda other than to sit. We felt like even if it was five people who show up and if we can impact um, the lives of five people, give them a cool space, give them sports drinks, some snacks, uh, Wi-Fi, an ability to just relax and watch something or, or surf their web, uh, we felt like it was worth doing. Additionally, partnerships with Lane County and Lane Transit Department provided free rides to the centers and pounds of donated food and beverages. Plus, dozens of community members and Egan Warming Center volunteers offered to help run these centers. They know and I know and you know that it could be you tomorrow, it could be me tomorrow. Something could happen, lose a job, get in an accident, whatever. Uh, you know, a neighbor takes care of a neighbor and that's what we do. Both centers focused on providing low barrier access to air conditioning, food, water and rest, while avoiding potential intimidations like complicated paperwork. St. Vincent de Paul says many homeless people are simply traumatized by institutionalized programs or services. Whether it's somebody in a uniform, whether it's somebody asking a bunch of questions, whether it's a form you have to fill out, a lot of people just turn around and not even make it through the door, and that's the worst thing that could happen. As temperatures remain high, St. Vincent de Paul says they continue to partner with the community to offer potentially life-saving resources. In Eugene, I'm Tiffany Lewis reporting.